Hi guys, it's Grant for Local Scraper, and uh, today I wanted to do your first scrape using Google Full. Um, Google Full is a scraper for Google Maps. Um, it is named Google Full because it gets more details than Google Quick. Um, I'll go over some of the options available to it and we'll do a scrape. Um, like last time on the Google Quick video, we're going to do pizza. We're going to Key West, Florida as our location. For the sake of time, we're going to set the max listings to 20. I do not need to change the wait time. I won't be using proxies or anything. Um, I'll have the program uh, save into the program folder so I don't have to worry about this. Um, for threads, I can leave it at 1 right now. Uh, scraper options. Um, I think I'll set the Google API GPS. Um, what this will do is that Google Quick, uh, Google Full, I mean, gives us the address details, but it no longer gives us the GPS details. So what we've done is now the scraper will uh, request from Google Maps API the GPS coordinates based on the street address we are given. Um, this only works with Google Full. Um, it's an option just installed for that. The other websites we scrape give us GPS details so it's not an issue. Um, because it does use the Google API, it, we have a limit of 2,500 uh, requests per day per IP address. Uh, this is not something I set. This is set by Google. Um, so if you're doing lots and lots of scraping, you're going to need more IP addresses, which is why proxies are recommended. Um, for our sake, in this little tutorial, we're not going to have to worry about that. Um, also available to you will be Scrape, uh, Scrape website. Um, this is available because we get uh, the website address from the scraper. Um, and these are available for you too, but we'll do that on the second run. So we'll keep the uh, GPS on and we'll keep Scrape website. Um, what this will do is, as it says here, it will try to find an email, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus uh, account details from the business's website if it has a website. So I was just thinking about it. Let's set this back to 10 because you'll see. Um, Google full and then we'll hit start. Now what the program is going to be doing is it's going to be going to Google Maps in the little built-in browser down here below. Uh, this does take a little while to load because Google Maps can be kind of slow. Um, we do not support this light mode, so what's going to happen is the page is going to refresh and we're going to try to get the full version of Google Maps. Uh, the difference is that the light mode, uh, see we now have the full version. Um, the light mode does not have multiple pages of results. It only gives you 10 for some reason. So we have to get to the full version so we can get all of the results. Um, so we've gotten to the full version now. And what the program is going to do is that each one of these listings, um, as you can see as they very quickly pop up, uh, like this one, um, what's going to happen is that the program will click on that listing because the details it gives um, without clicking on it is no phone number, no website, uh, no full address or anything. But when you do click on it, um, it gives you uh, all of the details. There's uh, uh, a lot of other information, which is why we're doing that. So that is why this, uh, this scraper is a little slower than Google Quick, is as you see, it's forced to click on each one of these listings um, on the page to get the details. So we'll just let that run for a little bit. Now what it's doing is it's going to page 2. Um, because of how we have the, um, the scraper set up, I set the max listings to 10, but it checks for that number at the beginning of each page so unfortunately, uh, it will still do the second page, as you see. So with the scraper, if you set them 
uh, max listings to um, 20, it'll give you 30 results. If you set it for 10, it'll give you the 20 results and so on. Okay, we just have a few more to go. Now also, if I would not have set the uh, max listings and the options here, it would have continued scraping until there were no more pages of results, um, and Google had given us uh, all the results it was willing to give us. So it would have kept going, it's just it didn't because I um, specified not to. Okay, now that we have the data, uh, the program has moved on to stage two. Um, it says it is looking up the GPS details because I turned that on, and it is also finding the emails because I also turned that on. Um, if you did not turn those on, it will say GPS lookup is off, and it will not uh, show this. If you had the uh, scrape site turned off, it would um, not say this either. So now what the scraper is doing, um, is that it is organizing the details from what we scraped, uh, the category, website, the other stuff, but then it is also individually visiting uh, each one of these businesses' websites and looking for uh, the uh, email, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and stuff details, and it is also requesting the GPS data from the Google Maps API. Now, something we can do, um, specifically because we have those, uh, these two options enabled, is that they are multi-threaded. So we can come back to the options and we can change the threads from uh, one to, say, three. And now the program will be three times faster, thankfully. Um, if you did not have Scrape website turned on or the API turned on, then the program will be uh, single-threaded uh, with one thread uh, because it will just instantaneously uh, organize the details that it already has. Um, it'll just, boom, they'll, they'll zip down real, real quick because we already have that data. Um, the reason the threads are helping now is because we're um, actually telling the program to go to the company's websites and find those details. Okay, all of our threads are done. Job finished. Here are our details. They're down here. Um, if we want to scroll over real quick, we'll see what all we got. Uh, as we see, we now have GPS details. Uh, these would not be here if we did not turn that option on. And we have some emails, some Facebook URLs uh, for several of the businesses because we turned on Scrape website. So remember, these details are coming from the business's actual website um, we're sending a robot out there to try to find them, and uh, that's what we found. So if we want to see those options, uh, that data, I mean, in Excel, we will go to our program folder. Uh, here's my program, so it's saved into the same folder as I put this. This is one I did previously with Google Quick, so we can ignore that. Here's Google Full. I will just double-click it, and we are open. Sorry, this one behind is still the Google Quick. Okay, here are our details for Google Full um, and a nice spreadsheet. Uh, we have several uh, details over here, uh, emails, we have all the GPS data, we have all the data that we normally get. Uh, currently we have name, uh, street address, thankfully it is the full street address now. If I was using Google Quick, this would have only said Green Street. There would be no number, no city, no zip code, no nothing. Um, we get phone number, category, website, rating, reviews, the description, uh, whether or not the merchant has verified their business or not, um, whether or not the business has gone out of uh, business or not, the image of the first, uh, the big, the big sort of header uh, image that Google uses. We have the listing CIDs. Um, these are if you use those details, um, and then we have the review URL, um, also only if you use those details. They're, they're pretty specific to uh, local uh, SEO customers. 
And you can see here's the full uh, listing CID in case you use those two. Now the only other option that was in here that I didn't go over is the use Google Chrome. Um, this was added because of that Google light mode and Google full mode problem. Um, sometimes the program just refuses to go into full mode and it won't run. So um, basically the problem behind that is Google sees the built-in browser and thinks it's not supported or incapable of seeing the full version so it runs this other little one. So we added this section um, so we will use uh, Google Chrome instead of the built-in browser because we know that's supported by Google obviously. So um, we could turn these off, we don't need these anymore. Uh, not for this uh, demonstration. Uh, we'll leave Google Chrome on. We'll set the max listings. Yeah, we'll leave it the same. Um, threads will not matter. I can set this to, you know, 10 and it won't do anything uh, because we turned off these options. And you'll see once we get to the data uh, why they're not needed. Okay, we'll come back here, and then we will just start Scraper again. Now, what the program is going to do, if I can resize this for you, is it's going to open Google Chrome. It will then automate the entire process um, through Google Chrome here. So as you see, it's uh, put in our keyword and our location. It brings up our results. Once it knows the page is loaded, it will click on the first result, as we can see. It will go back, it will click on the next result, and it will continue this until we have all of our details. So, um, Google Fool can be quite slow, as you see, but really it's our best option right now for getting data if you need it specifically from Google. Um, as I mentioned before, we have Google Quick. Um, it's much faster, but what Google Quick gets is just these details. So, um, I can't really pause this to, to show you, but once it goes back, um, you'll see that, see, it just says Duval Street or Southern Street. Um, that's not the full business address. So it won't get the full business address, it doesn't get phone numbers, it won't get websites. Um, we're limited to what information is there. So the new Google Maps, this new design they rolled out, um, requires us to click on every one of these business results to remember. I don't really like it, but um, I'm not Google and I don't really have control over that. Um, so we're going to keep going here, it's going to keep going through. It's going to keep clicking on them. Um, unfortunately, as I mentioned before, uh, when you Google these things, there is no GPS details. Um, there used to be, uh, back before this new Google Maps that was rolled out this year, uh, which is why we had to add the uh, Google API options. Now I can just go back to the scraper, because this Google is going to keep going about its business. Um, another setting that we have here is the hide Google Chrome browser. Um, that is if this will be distracting, having a giant uh, Google Chrome window in the background here uh, running around doing its own thing. Um, if you click here, it will open Google Chrome, but it will shrink it down to the, uh, the taskbar down at the bottom of your screen. Uh, this is so you can go about your business. Um, you can still use uh, Google Chrome to do whatever you want. Here, I'll open up like a new one. And we'll go to like Amazon. And this this doesn't affect uh, anything that's going on in the background. The, the, the scraper is still doing its thing. So um, you're able to use the Google Chrome options and still uh, use your computer for work and stuff like that. Okay, it's currently on 16 records found, which means we should only have four more to go. 
You can see why I set the max listings uh, for the sake of this video. Uh, it can take quite long to uh, scrape Google full, um, given that they can give you a thousand results or more. Uh, some of the good news is, is that each one of these page loads um, is not actually a full page load, it's just loaded dynamically. So if you go to Google Full and you're using, say, a proxy, um, as it goes and clicks through on those business details, um, it doesn't count as a like another page view. So if you just have one IP address, like I'm using my own home address, um, I won't get caught for like going through thousands of pages through Google because I'm not actually going through thousands of pages because all of that stuff is dynamically loaded. Um, I guess that sounds kind of complex, but it comes in if you're going to be scraping lots and lots and lots of data, is that um, the way the sites usually catch you is by how many uh, pages you've viewed on their website from that single IP address. So because these are not page views, um, it's only like one page view uh, per my IP address, so it makes it a little easier to scrape from Google um, with just your own IP address or with a small number of proxies. Um, now what happened while I was chatting away is that the scraper finished and it said it was skipping the GPS data and then formatting the uh, business data. And as you saw, it just zipped down instantly and had all the details. Um, that is why you do not need to multi-thread this because it already has the information and it will just instantly uh, zip right through it. Um, the reason we have the threads is for the scrape website option, the Google API lookup, uh, those will use uh, multi-threading if you're using Google Full, which is the purpose of this video. So again, uh, we have the same results, same 20 results. Uh, we have the same details. Uh, it's just now that we got them from uh, Google Chrome instead of the built-in browser. And we have our CSV file, which we can double-click, and there it is. We are open. Yes, we will reopen it. And there we go. Actually, that's not the, that's not the new one here. Let's go through. Excel was keeping the old file. There we go. So, same details, um, same file and everything. Um, since I did not rename, uh, since it didn't change the, the keyword or the thing, and since I did not rename the old file, um, it was overwritten. So make sure you keep up with that if you want to keep the data. Because um, the program will uh, rewrite over files if they're exactly the same search using the exact same thing. Okay, um, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And uh, make sure to watch the other videos um, for the other uh, script targets. Great. See you later.